what is the future of lead generation. And so in this video, I'm gonna give you the definitive future of high-powered, high-profitability, high-income lead generation that works. Hi there, it's Kevin Ward, the founder of Yes Masters Real Estate Success Training, helping you get more yeses and more successes in your business and in your life. And the word on the street is everything's changing in real estate. Everything's constantly changing in real estate. And there's a lot of changes happening in real estate, granted. So the question is, what is the future of lead generation? How are we gonna get business going forward in the future with all the changes that we're seeing out there? Because there's a lot of changes happening and agents, especially new agents and seasoned agents are going like, stuff, uh, what works today? And you know, I, I'm trying cold calling, I'm trying door knocking, I'm trying open houses, I'm trying soft, uh, social media, I'm trying all this stuff and some stuff works and some doesn't and do you buy internet leads? What is happening, what is working, working, and most important, what is the future of lead generation? And so in this video, I'm gonna give you the definitive future of high-powered, high-profitability, high-income lead generation that works. And what I'm gonna share with you in this video is not tactical, it is strategic, which means it's not about what's working today that may not be working next week. All right, so I'm not talking about like Facebook, Facebook marketing because Facebook marketing today is awesome, but it changes and it's doubled and tripled and quadrupled in price and so things are always changing and it's still in, in development. So the things I'm gonna talk about in this video in terms of the future of lead generation are the strategic angles of what it works today and what's gonna work in the next two, three, five, and probably even the next 10 years years because there are things are changing so there's two really key channels of lead generation that we're going to talk about in this video so two keys number one is relationships so if you want to get make a lot of money in real estate the secret today is all going to be relationships if you want to just build a massive business relationships are ultimately where it's at the problem is for most real estate agents, they don't have enough high, highly leveraged, high, highly qualified relationships that will give them enough business to make a lot of money before they go broke, right? So because of that, the other key prong for future of lead generation is always gonna continue to be new biz. And new biz is simply people that you don't have a relationship with, people that you haven't met. Okay, so this would be like this would be like your personal circle, your sphere of influence, that 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 group. This would be your people you don't know that we tra traditionally talk about. This is cold calling and, and so forth and stuff like that. The problem with that is is it's just it's one dimensional and it terrifies people and it doesn't work as well today as it used to work. So what are this? What is the future both of relationship building for? effectively generation and what is the future of getting new business? What are the key strategies or the key elements for successful lead generation in getting new business? So first, let's talk about existing relationships. So the people that you already know, that know you, they like you, they trust you, here are the two really most important things for getting business from your personal circle. Number one is what I call TOMA. Now, TOMA, T-O-M-A, if I can write, TOMA is top of mind awareness, which simply means that if you're going to win business from people that you know, they gotta know you're in business. They gotta think about you. If they don't think about you, they're not gonna refer you, right? If they don't think about you being in the business, and so just assuming that they know you got your real estate license does not mean that they're gonna think about you enough to refer you whenever they hear about somebody buying or selling. So you have gotta train them, you gotta build a relationship, you gotta to talk to them, you gotta keep yourself top of mind awareness uh, in their awareness so that when they hear a conversation about real estate, they go like, oh, you need to talk to my realtor. And that takes training. So that is a strategy that I teach in the Real Estate Vortex about building your personal circle. So the first thing is you have to have top of mind awareness with them. And then obviously the second thing you have to have with your relationships is trust. And that means they gotta trust, not only they gotta trust you as a human being, 
okay, that you're a person of integrity, which hopefully that's true, but they've got to trust that you're going to take care of them and or people they refer to you. So if you're not good, if you're an amateur, if you're part-time or you're incompetent or you're not confident, they don't trust you enough to give you the business. So that requires that you go pro. It requires you to commit to a high level of skills, both in uh, communicating to people, but also in delivering results and helping people get homes sold, help people successfully buy a house and all of that. So if you wanna win with your relationships, the future of lead generation starts here and that's gonna require one, you gotta talk to them. You have to ask for business. All right, you have to ask for business and you have to be worthy of that business when you ask for it. Now, I'm gonna share with you an overarching principle of success in all of the future of lead generation. And I'm gonna put it down here because this is everything that I'm gonna say comes down to this one simple principle and that is ask more when more. I don't care how you slice it. I don't care how much technology comes along. I don't, I don't care what, you're, what you wanna talk about. You wanna succeed more, you want more business, you gotta ask for it more. And you're gonna have to ask for it more here and you're gonna have to ask for it more here. And so many people, so many new agents, it's, there are two things. One, that stop a lot of agents. Number one is fear. They're afraid. We're gonna talk about that. Number two is they're, sometimes they're just flat out lazy and they wanna figure out a way to get business without having to go out and ask for it. And can you do that? Yes, it works. But if you wanna make a lot of money and be highly successful, the future of high-powered successful lead generation that leads to massive success is this principle is gonna always be true. You want more business, you gotta ask more. Your people that you know, the more you ask, the more likely you are to get a yes, the more likely you are to get a referral. All right, so now, let's turn to generating new business. What is the future of lead generation when it comes to getting people that you don't know to want to work with you and to hire you? Number one, the number one key thing for getting new business in today and the future is that we must have a multi-dimensional there must be a multi-dimensional, if I can spell that right, strategy. You must have a multi-dimensional lead generation strategy. Now, what does that mean? What that means is, when I started real estate, I had a one-dimensional lead generation strategy. I was broke. We didn't have social media. The internet was still pretty new. Most real, very few real estate agents, very, very few, even had a website. There was no Zillow, there was no even Realtor.com. If it was there, we didn't ever know about it, we didn't use it. The MLS didn't even have pictures on it when I first started real estate back in 1998. So I had a one-dimensional strategy. Pick up the phone and call for sale by owners and expireds. One-dimensional, I called them, they said yes or they said no. If they said yes or maybe they would say maybe, then I would get the appointment or I would call back or whatever. But I had a one-dimensional strategy and that was pick up the phone and dial for dollars right? Smiling and dialing. That was the way I built my business. And I called for sell by owners and expires. I did very little cold calling. Now, I, when I called for sell by owners and expires, I never called that cold calling because the great Zig Ziglar said, when I call, I expect people to be warm. So I don't do cold calling. I do warm calling. And that was the way I approached it. And that was how I built it, but it was still one dimensional. There were other agents that all they did was they did geographic farming. And it was a one dimensional game. Other people just did open houses. Other people just did relationships, just did by referral only. And it works, but you're not, you're, but you, you miss so many opportunities that are out there. And if you want massive success, if you're looking for just a little bit of success, then number one, I'm probably not the right coach for you to be listening to. And number two, I don't, you don't need this, okay? But if you're looking for a lot of success, if you want massive success in real estate, then you gotta understand to win in today's market requires a multi-dimensional lead generation strategy that is relentless. 
Now, even back when I started, back in the old traditional sales training, they would tell you if you want to get a deal, you need to close at least seven times, right? You're calling for sub owners, you got to expect at least seven no's. You close time. If they say if they if they say no, you ask again, you ask again. And they would they trained, you close seven times. Some of them dialed it back and said, well, close five times or close only three times. But the point was you had to be relentless. You had to be willing to do it over and over again. The problem with that is if I call an expired and they say not interested, what am I going to do? Call them back six more times with the same line and the same approach and they're just going to say no, 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 right? And some people say, you know, the strategy is you just call them until they give you an appointment or tell you to take a flying leap. Well, how about this? How about have more than one, a one dimensional show? How about have more than one strategy? So it's not just a one dimensional approach to the business, having a multiple, a, a multi dimensional approach to the business, which includes talk, calling people on the phone texting people, emailing people, knocking on the door, sending direct mail, internet, uh, targeted internet lead generation, whether it's social media marketing or Google ads or whatever it is, all of that, using, using multimedia type of advertising still works, okay? Even radio and television still works awesome. But if you want to generate a lot of business, here's what's got to be required is you've got to have more than just one uh, uh, be more than a one shot, what is it, a one trick pony? You gotta be more than a one trick pony. You gotta have multiple ways of reaching people and you gotta do it over and over and over again. So that if I call somebody, let's just say as, use it as an example, an expired listing. Now here's what, here's what we know, 50% chance that expired listing is gonna relist within the next 30 days with a different agent. Do you want that? listing? Do you want to be the agent that gets that deal? Well, you got to do something to get in front of them. Well, if you call them and they shut you down or if you call them and they don't answer, if that's the only strategy you got, you're done, right? So now you got to be able to call them. You got to be willing to leave a voicemail. You got to, if you got a cell phone, text them, email them, knock on their door, send them something in the mail. Okay. Geo target them. If you got with social media, you probably can't target just one person, but you can target an area. But the point is, use a multi-generational, uh, multi-dimensional approach. And if they won't talk to you, do you have a place online that you can send them that actually there gives you the opportunity to sell them or to convince them that they want to hire you? What I call an agent online vortex that we teach at our Double Your Listing Power Training Camp. And so, having a multi-dimensional approach is going to be a strategy is going to be so critical that is relentless. And it goes back to this, ask more, win more. Here's the simple principle. Back in the sales day, the old days when they taught close seven times, here's the deal. If you can find seven different ways to get in front of a potential seller, and especially that what I call turbo leads, highly motivated people like for sale by owners and expireds that have already raised their hand and said, I'm moving and I need help, right? You find a way to get in front of them over and over and over again. I don't care whether they like it or don't like it. You get in front of them enough, you are more likely to get that listing. Okay, now I know you're somebody going, but what if they don't like me? What if I annoy them? That's gonna offend people. People are rude and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna get to that in number three, okay? But number one is you gotta understand if you wanna get business, you wanna get lots of business, you're gonna have to be multi-dimensional and not a one-trick pony. Number two, number two, and this is probably the most difficult and the most uh, people don't like it, but it's just the truth. And that is you got to have a powerful, a powerful communication, communication skill set. A powerful communication skill set. Now I'm going to tell you something. If you are a real estate agent and you master powerful communication, you learn how to communicate with people powerfully, how to influence and persuade and lead people to a decision. You, my friend, are going to be unstoppable. You, my friend, have a whole plethora of opportunity to open before you because we are in an age today where fewer and fewer real estate agents want to talk to people. They're like, if I talk to people, they may be mean to me. And so more and more people coming in the real estate industry today are trying to find all kinds of fancy lead generation strategies where they don't have to talk to somebody. 
And that's all, I don't, I don't wanna call people or knock on their door because they may be mean or they're rude or they don't like it, so I'm, a, I'm just not gonna do it and I'm gonna find other ways to get them to wanna call me. All that is great and that's awesome, but the day they call you, now you've, you, you've, however you generate the lead, whether it's by you going after them or you waiting for them to come to you, the moment you generate that lead, now you gotta convert that lead into business. You gotta, you gotta inspire them to hire you. You gotta convince them to list with you and you gotta convince them to list with you at a price that will actually get the property sold so you get paid and they get a move, right? That requires skill. It requires this thing right here and that is powerful communication skills and so many people and especially if you're a, if you are a, a millennial this is a huge opportunity for you because so many millennials don't want to talk to anybody they're they're more comfortable texting like this is safer right but when you have the ability to talk to somebody and lead them to a decision to be compelling to with to speak with conviction and passion and clearly articulate a message that inspires people to want to work with you you my friend are unstoppable you get leads generated however it happens and then you're afraid to talk to them, you're afraid to follow up with them, you're done. They're not gonna hire you, right? So all those leads are wasted if you don't have powerful, a powerful communication skill set that knows how to lead people to a decision. And then number three is a bulletproof, and this is if you wanna generate a lot of business is you gotta have a bulletproof mindset. Now this right here will set you apart. I'm telling you, this will just put you light years ahead of most real estate agents in the market. And that is a bulletproof mindset that focuses on success, not trying to make everyone happy. I'm gonna say that again create a bulletproof mindset that is set on success, not trying to make everyone happy. I think it's one of the most common things. I see it in the Facebook conversations and real estate agent Facebook group conversations. I see it on the YouTube comments and all of that. And that is that real estate agents are dying of fear. They're trying to figure out, how do I do this without getting my feelings hurt? How do I do this without annoying people or making people unhappy or without, you know, if I, people don't like it when you solicit them anymore. Look, they didn't like it when you solicited them 20 years ago or 40 years ago. Well, people may be rude. People were rude 30 years ago, 40 years ago. Now they may be granted more rude today than they were then, but it was still back then the same thing. People hate sales pitches. They hated them 40 years ago. So what you gotta focus on is do I want effectiveness, do I want success, or am I just wanna make everybody happy and I don't wanna upset anybody? If you wanna master business in the future, the way you are gonna win at lead generation, which then leads to lead conversion, which leads to, to sales and success, you gotta have a bulletproof mindset that says, you know what, I get it, there's gonna be times people are gonna be unhappy. There's gonna be times people aren't gonna like me. There's gonna be times when people show me to, you know, tell me to, to, to buzz off. But I wanna help people win. I wanna help people that wanna move, I wanna help them move. And you gotta focus, have a bulletproof mindset that is set on what works, what is effective at getting people to say yes to me, not what makes everybody happy and makes everybody comfortable. Because at the end of the day, a lot of people, if I look, when I look back and I built my business with the two of the hardest groups on the planet in real estate for sub owners and expireds. And they didn't want me calling them to then. They don't like me calling them today. Sa same today as it was back when I started 20 years ago. They didn't like it then, they don't like it today. Okay, but they needed to move. And so what I had to do is get through that resistance and once I got through the resistance, they were grateful that I was able to help get them the result that they wanted. And they'll be that way for you. So what I'm just gonna wind this up with, the future of lead generation is right here. Ask more and you win more. I don't care if it's people you already know or people you don't know. You gotta ask more and ask over and over and over. And if you'll touch, you, you send them a, a postcard and then you call them and then you door knock them and then you text them and then you email them and, then, and do that over and over and over again. Look, there's gonna be people that are gonna be like, would you leave me alone? No, I'm not gonna leave you alone. You need to move, I can help you. 
And what's gonna happen is some of them are gonna go like, okay, all right, this guy is persistent enough, this gal is persistent enough, I'm gonna give her a shot. And you're gonna get business because while everybody else was trying not to, they were trying to avoid rejection and they were trying to not make anybody unhappy, they left. And you were the last person standing and you're gonna be the one that gets the listing, you're gonna be the one that wins, and you're gonna be the one that gets the massive, massive success. Now, I realize this is a pretty heavy video, but if you want massive success, I'm laying some heavy truth on you today that will work, it will work today, it will work in 2020, it will work in 2025, because this is the secret to massive success in the future of lead generation. Now, I wanna hear what you think about it. If you, don't, if you like it, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, but also post your questions and comments in, uh, in the comments below. I'd like to hear the conversation and find out what your thoughts are about the future of lead generation. Hope this has helped. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that now, and I'll see you on the next video.